Hi, I'm Jason Diggs. I'm here with Ryle Castano for the Integral Center. And in our generation, I think every kid was taught this thing, which is don't talk to strangers. Mm, right. It was almost like a universal, like, parenting must yeah. for everyone in our generation. I'm almost 40. And we're talking about the opposite of that. <laughs> right. <today>. Talk to strangers. <laughs> talk to strangers. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I mean, uh, are we all strangers or are we all somehow related to each other? You know, we don't know until we actually step beyond the veil and, and see what happens. And uh, I've, I've personally, I mean, I've grown up being very wary of strangers, feeling very separate. I'm never going to be the first one to, to talk or break the ice or anything like that. And even when the ice is broken in my direction, I'm still on guard and everything. Mm. And so in the midst of this practice and really wanting to infuse my life with it and live it out in the world, I've had to really explore these edges and taken on this uh, sort of self-experiment, a self-practice of uh, reaching out and making contact with people and breaking the ice. And my heart's beating while I'm doing it. I have no idea what will happen. And sometimes they totally turn away and uh, don't respond. But so much of the time they do. And so much of the time we're in connection, even if only fleetingly, even if it's only, you know, checking out at the grocery store or something, mm -hmm. uh, taking a taxi or something like that. Mm -hmm. There's still this opportunity for some exchange of energy, some exchange of, of attention and curiosity, which then results in just a feeling of intimacy. And that mm -hmm. has a, an effect on me the rest of the day. I, I feel warm inside. I feel permeable. I feel available. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, and, I'm loving this practice now of uh, any time that I'm out and about, just even if I can only uh, do, have one connection in the course of my day and just be able to say something. And that, I mean, honestly, the simplest icebreaker is just how's it going? What's going on for you today? What have you been up to? Mm -hmm. And taking the conversation from there or kind of putting up my noticing radar. What am I noticing about this person or the environment? that I can get curious about and share in this sort of co-exploration with this other person. In. And, uh, and the results have been really extraordinary. And, and now it's like, I'm out of my shell now mm -hmm. and, and I'm far less afraid than I ever was because I know that so much of the time what awaits me is connection, is intimacy, is some form of subtle nourishment that I'm wanting as just a human being here on this earth that I share with a lot of other people. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and now I enjoy it. I can't, I can't put the genie back in the, in the bottle, so to speak. <laughs> like, I'm out now. And uh, it's been a really rich experience. Yeah. And that's one of the things with authentic relating. We're challenging these social norms. Like, there's this idea that, oh, you know, 10% of people out there, they're the life of the party. They're gregarious. They're, you know, they have that attribute. They're extroverts. Yeah. And they're the ones who do this thing that you're talking about. Yeah. But what I think we're pointing to here is, like, actually, no, everyone has this capacity. Yeah. It just takes a little bit of courage. Yeah. And it creates richness in my own life, even if I never see that person again. Totally. And, you know, I like to think that it's actually quite profound to do this. Yeah. You know, changing the world one connection at a time. Totally. Like, who knows, you know, if that person is going to be nicer to their spouse, yeah. you know, and, and create a rich connection yeah. because of you and yeah. the impact on you. Yeah. It, it's kind yeah. of beautiful. It's, yeah. it's almost like magical. Like we could go around spreading yeah. this idea that like it's just connection. It's just intimacy. Yeah. We're all capable yeah. of creating it. Totally, totally. And it mm -hmm. does require some willingness to be vulnerable for a moment, to step beyond, you know, the sort of uh, cultivated identity and be in the mystery. What's it like to be with you right now in this unknown moment? I play this, uh, this fun game. I mean, we, we always ask each other, you know, how are you? How's it going? And the automatic response is reflexive is like, good, how are you? You know, we just sort of like run it together, like how I actually am and how are you? And it's sort of this like, you know, automatic greeting or something. And I play this game with myself now that when somebody asks me, how are you? Even if it's like completely automatically, like I actually take that, uh, as an opportunity, an invitation to consider, like, how am I? Let mm. me think about it for a moment. And then I'll actually respond, you know? <laughs> and it's just amazing what happens uh, from there, you know? Someone's like, oh, 
I actually get a feel for you. I'm actually feeling you right now. Like, oh, you're not just this other faceless, you know, body passing before me. You're actually someone. You're actually human. Mm -hmm. And and then and then it's just like, how deep do we want to go in the time that we have? But uh, but yeah, like we're we're constantly reaching out with an invitation to check in and connect with each other. Let's actually take a moment and receive mm -hmm. the invitation. Awesome. I like to think of connection or intimacy uh, as a muscle. It's yeah. something that we can work out. Like, you know, two years ago, I would have thought of myself as highly introverted. Yeah. I don't anymore. Yeah, like, totally. I don't want to categorize <laughs> yeah. myself anymore. Like, yeah. honestly, my capacity for intimacy and connection has grown by yeah. leaps and bounds. And yeah. I surprise myself by how much I like people. Yeah, I think we're, we're in alignment there. I mean, every personality test I ever took and character type always pinned me as like the extreme introvert. And I lived that, you know, I, I was a loner and I would take trips by myself. I love being alone. And I just took another personality test just a few days ago. And for the first time, it said I'm an extrovert, which is like <laughs> shocking to me, you know. But I'm answering the questions honestly and saying, yeah, you know, like I love being around people. I love connecting with people. I love, you know, all the aspects of, uh, of being in what we call an extrovert, you know, being out and about with people. If I found a way to be deeply nourished by it. And, and now it's sort of in balance. I like being alone, I like being with people. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I'm an introvert or an extrovert, I'm both and neither. Depending on the environment, the context, the, the, the day, how I'm feeling, uh, lots of factors. Awesome. Well, this has been an authentic public service announcement. <laughs> Talk to strangers. Talk to strangers, nice. <laughs>